In this video I re will repair this boombox with uh, over voltage problem. For the beginning I will tell you the story of this device. This was bought from uh, United States and uh, here it has uh, two positions, switch with two positions. 100 volts and 200 volts for United States and for Europe. So this was uh, bought from uh, United States from a person here from Europe. And uh, this person didn't notice that uh, here was on 100 volts and uh, put a cable to the main power supply and applied uh, 230 volts on 100 volts input. He said that heard an annoying noise and uh, stopped working. Now let's see what we can do. I... Uh, took down the screws to skip the boring part. This is the tape part. It's only one connector, it's easy to take out. As you can see, it's a cheap and low quality parts because uh, back in the days this uh, was from metal and now it's from cheap plastic i don't know exact word for this in english now here is the here is the pcb and this is the transformer part so this is a transformer part and this is the main pcb now let's check First of all, I will start with this PCB, with transformer. This is the Europe position and this one is United States position. First of all, let's test without the main voltage. This is the input. This is a fuse. Fuse it good. So let's take this. So this point goes here to this pin of the transformer. Now let's check this one. So this input goes to this point of the transformer. I presume that this point and, and this point it's a 100 volts input and this one with two coils in series it's a 230 volts. Now this uh, is interrupted this coil this coil is good this coil it's not good so i presume that uh, on uh, 100 volts input on this coil got over voltage now let's check these points 
I hope that you can see. This is the pin. And uh, I think uh, I am lucky because here it's a thermal fuse. Let's check the thermal fuse and let's check the coil. So these first points are it's a thermal fuse and these two points it's the coil. It seems that the coil is good and thermal fuse saved the transformer. Now let's make a short here on the thermal fuse just for test. And after that I will replace the thermal fuse with a new one. So I made a short here on these two points instead of thermal fuse. Now let's check. First coil is good, second coil it's not beeping but it's good. And both coils in series it's good. We have uh, 100 ohms. Now let's apply voltage. Here we have uh, 230 volts on the input and we have uh, 12 volts on the output. It's good. Now let's check if the diodes are good. Now let's check DC voltage on the output. DC voltage is good. It shows only 9 volts because there is no capacitor. There are only diodes on this uh, PCB. Now I presume that this uh, part is good. Before I uh, supply, I have to inspect this. And I don't know if you can see, but here it's a small resistor, it's blown away. Let's measure this resistor, but I can bet that it's uh, interrupted. It's interrupted. This should be a small value. Let's check this fuse. This fuse is good. Now uh, let's uh, check the circuit of this resistor because this is not blown away by herself. There is another problem associated with this. So this resistor comes to this Zener diode. This Zener diode is in short. Let's take out this uh, Zener diode and test it. It seems that I am lucky again because this Zener diode was put there for protection and now it's uh, broken. I will uh, replace it. I uh, found a uh, schematic uh, close to this, not identical but close. And I noticed that this uh, 
wire so we have 6 volts input on this connector 6 volts input goes from this resistor and that comes uh, in a parallel with this diode and after that uh, comes here on this uh, voltage regulator it's 4 volts voltage regulator it's proprietary i didn't found any data sheet but i presume that uh, this can allow uh, 20 volts input now let's see what uh, center we have here it's 15 b 51 or 5t i am not sure i will search on the internet before i connect this to the main pcb i have to measure the voltages so here it's uh, from the schematic six pin it's ground And this one, it should be 12 volts, but it's only 9 volts because of the missing capacitor. Five pin should be nine volts. There is no voltage and the four pin this should be six volts. But there is twelve volts. I will have to check the schematic because here I'm sir are some SMD components. I've checked the schematic for, from this module and I tested and everything's, uh, everything works okay. So this uh, 12 volts it's either from transformer either from battery and uh, 6 volts pin it's either for uh, battery 6 volts for memory or uh, 12 volts from uh, this uh, main 12 volts. Now let's get back uh, from this module. I've replaced this uh, Zener diode. I didn't found 5.5 volts and I put the 6 volts but it's the same because it's only for protection this uh, resistor who is blown away i didn't find the exact schematic for this part and i didn't uh, found the value but i looked under the microscope and exactly in the middle it's interrupted and I measured uh, half down and half up. And uh, I presume that this was 100 ohms because I measured 40 ohms down and 40 ohms up. And I believe this was uh, 100 ohms. So I will uh, Replace with this 100 ohms and let's see what happens next. Now let's make the first voltage test. I've replaced that small resistor here with another one of 100 ohms. And now let's measure the voltage. The main voltage is here and the processor voltage. Now let's power on we have uh, 30 volts it's good now let's measure 
this is the input for resistor this is the output for resistor this is the center diode volts and now the voltage regulator the input is 7 volts the output is 4 volts it's perfect now let's put everything together and make some tests now let's power this up to see what happens I can see the watch now let's go. it's working but i have to check if i put all the connectors it's working but uh, sometimes blocks i presume that uh, it's missing uh, the tape cd now it's working Without the tape part, it's not working well. CD it's working. Let's test the radio. Now uh, search function is working. Now let's test the tape. It seems also the tape is working. Now I just have to put all the screws back and this uh, project is finished. If you encounter this uh, problem with over voltage, please put a comment. And if you find this helpful, please give a big like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.